it's a beautiful uh, winter day here at Deer Park. And the question is whether we are present enough to enjoy it. <laughs> so walking meditation is to cultivate that kind of presence so we can see clearly uh, what's going on in our body and also what's going on with our walking and with the nature around us and especially with the community around us. So uh, when we practice walking, we cultivate presence by coming back to our breathing and to our step. So when we breathe in, we might take two or three steps and then breathe out. We take three or four steps and we try to be 100% there with our breathing and our step. So not caught in the future or the past. So that phrase you see arrived at home in the meditation hall is uh, to help us to come back, to see that our home is right here and right now. So you might like uh, to coordinate your breathing with your step so that you're not lost in your thinking thinking about where you want to go or your projects, your worries, your fears. You can just put it all down, let it go into the earth. <laughs> and uh, you might like to, for example, count your steps. Just one, two, maybe one, two on the in-breath and then one, two, three, on the out breath. You naturally find the rhythm. It might be two steps or three steps, whatever it might be. You just you don't force your breathing to change. You just allow it to come naturally. And however many steps go with the in breath and however many go with the out breath, you just let that be. But you focus on coordinating them. So that keeps us present. And when you really are able to do that, you can continue on and practice the the teaching on arrived at home. So you might like to say arrived, 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 and then on the out breath, at home, at home, at home. It means that your step is home, right here, right now, and not, not somewhere else. So Thai uh, teacher loved to remind us that uh, uh, the direction of life is here and now. <laughs> oh, sorry, the address of life is here and now. Um, so wherever we are, we can be at home. Wherever we are, we can be at peace. Wherever we are, we can enjoy life within us and around us. Sometimes look at human beings and they think, why are we always running around <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> why can we not just come back and enjoy this moment on the earth. So let's try to realize that today. lovely path I walk in peace with each step a gentle wind blows with each step a flower blooms the mind can go in a thousand directions but on this lovely path I walk in peace with each step a gentle wind blows with each step a flower blooms
you might like to also walk with your ancestors, your mother, your father. Maybe they haven't ever had a chance to walk mindfully in their life, but they are in every cell of our body. So if we walk mindfully, we are also walking with them. So we are walking for them. <laughs> so our peaceful steps of arriving at home also are transmitted to them through every cell in our body. And not only our mother, father, our grandparents, but also you know, our ancient uh, ancestors, <laughs> something like a chimpanzee, something like a, a lizard, yeah, those are also in every cell of our body. The very shape of our foot has grown up in contact with the earth. That's why we are able to walk as two-legged creatures on the earth. This arch in our foot and the Achilles tendon is designed for us to walk like that, upright on the earth. So we are walking with our ancestors, our evolutionary ancestors as well. And uh, in this way, we, we connect with the trees, with the plants. And when we do that, our steps become legendary. So wherever we walk, it becomes a legendary path. Where the Buddha walked in his time, it became a legendary path. And that's not just because he is an important historical person, but it's because of his way of walking, walking in mindfulness, walking for all of his ancestors. I, I am home in the here and in the now. I have arrived. I am home in the here and in the now. I am solid, I am free, I am solid, I am free, in the ultimate I dwell, in the 